I'm Jesse David from Metal Lanny, and joining me today is Allison Chain singer William Duval. How's it going? Okay, very well, thanks. Very good. You're on tour with Corn right now. Last night you were in Toronto. How's the show? Really, really good. Um, you know, the the Toronto crowd always brings it, um, and we played the uh, Budweiser stage, which was the old Molson Amphitheater. So the venue we've played several times before, and always had good shows there. And, uh, and then to top it off, our friend Dallas Green, um, who uh, is known as City in Color, yeah, uh, who's a you know you know who he is. Uh, <laughs> he came out and uh, sang with us for a bit, and it's always good to see him. And yeah, it was really good all around. Well, you're getting geared up to release your first solo album, One Alone, which drops October fourth. Tell me about the album. Uh, well, the first album I've ever released under my own name which uh, in and of itself makes it significant uh, for me personally. Um, and it is all acoustic, one guitar, one voice, from start to finish, hence the title, One Alone. Um, it's about as solo as a solo album can get, and I'm really, really proud of it. What made you decide to do your first solo album as an acoustic one? I think after all these years of making... Uh, band-oriented rock rock records, you know, like heavy rock records, that kind of uh, come at you <laughs> in, a, in, a, in an aggressive way, and um, you know, even though there's dynamics, those, those you know, I've got a lot of albums now um, that uh, over the last twenty plus years that uh, that have all you know kind of mined that rock territory and um, I just felt it was time for a change and you know, acoustic guitar has always played a role in a lot of the music I've done um, be it with Alice and Chains or with my, my band Comes With The Fall prior to that um, but this was just a time I felt uh, I felt it was time to get really really reductive and, and just distill the music down to its, you know, to its, to its very essence and um, get get the songs back kind of to the origin point. Um, you know, it usually starts with just the guitar and me. Um, and uh, I thought, you know, why not just why not just put that out? You know, it, yeah. it kind of serves as a as a as a palate cleanser to the last twenty plus years of of rock records, and, and it also, I think, gives me a, a, a good starting point to build from for the future, um, you know, uh, if I continue putting records out under my own name. So this is a great sort of end point and a great starting point at the same time. <clears throat> How long were you working on this album? Is it something you had an, an idea for for a while? Did it just kind of come to you? I started with um, going into the studio just to record uh, So the Light Guides Me Home, which is the first single. Um, so when I went in to do that song, I thought it was just going to maybe be a demo uh, of the song. And it came out so well, and it went down so quickly, and it just, you know, I had it done in an hour. And I was like, well, I'm here in the studio. I might as well lay down a few more things um, you know, while I'm here. So... I recorded seven more songs and uh, walked out of there with eight songs recorded in one day and, and sort of hung on to those for a while. And uh, after listening off and on to those eight songs, I thought, you know, this, is, this could be the making of something in its own right here. Um, and, uh, but I didn't feel like I had enough for a proper album, so I went back in and recorded a few more songs just in an evening. Um, you know, a couple hours, and uh, and then I had an album, and I thought, uh, yeah, I think this I think this works as a as a piece, um, as a standalone, um, and uh, so the the actual recording time was very brief, but the gestation period from first going in to record what I thought was going to be a demo for one song, and where we are today with <laughs> getting ready to release an album. That took a while. 
Well, it's wild that you went into the studio and next thing you know, you're leaving with eight songs in one day. That's that's that uh, feels unheard of. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, it's kind of how I've always worked. Um, you know, my band comes with the fall used to go in and, and uh, you know, record like 10 basic tracks in a day or two. You know, we, we were always. We, we recorded all our, we, the, the, we, you know how bands go in and, and they and they go in to record what they call basic tracks, you know, yeah. and, and there's a lot of what they call scratch tracks on there, like, you know, well, we're just, yeah, we're laying down guitar, bass, and drums, but we're going to redo all the guitar, we're going to redo all the bass, but, you know, we're just basically doing this just to get a drum track. Well, we never did that. Comes with the fall, used to go in, there was no scratch anything. We used to go in, play live. You know, it's more like the way Van Halen or Led Zeppelin used to make records. You're going in and you're either playing or you're wasting everybody's time. It's like, we're keeping everything, and if it's not good enough, then we, we just need to go back to the drawing board, you know. So I've always worked very quickly and made records very quickly, and, and um, you know, you either have it or you don't. Oh, I think Bob you know? Dylan did that too, right? Like, boom, 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 very fast. Exactly. Yeah, and it's just... But back then, you had so much more yeah. content. There was so much more to write about. And i got to tell you, I love, I love the new album. It's very intimate. I love the acoustic sound. And you can hear and feel the emotion in your voice. And we're talking about these older oh. musicians that were dropping albums fast, but they had so much more to work with. What really inspired you to write One Alone? It just everyday life. Um, you know, it, it's... Uh I mean, I think there's a lot to, to write about right now, too. And, and uh, you know, whether it's personal experience or whether it's how that personal experience interfaces with the wider world, you know, how, how you're impacted by the wider world or how you might even uh, make some sort of a small impact on the wider world. It's all, it's all you know, we're, we're all still dealing with the same uh, basic human experience. You know, and it's always uh, a heck of a thing, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just life, man. <laughs> life inspired one alone. <laughs> when, um, when I was listening to tracks like Strung Out on a Dream and Still Got a Hold of My Heart, really just the whole album, mm -hmm. it sounded like a, almost a loved and lost story. Was there someone that you were thinking of or inspired by that made you write these songs? Sure, there were there were triggers to to those songs, um, and uh, you know, I mean, I think uh, now I'm 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 much happier, but, <laughs> but 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 those you know those songs come from a period of uh, of of perhaps some uh, some troubled waters. <laughs> what uh, what would you say was the most challenging step in writing one alone? There weren't really many challenges in terms of the writing. I think uh, most of the songs came very quickly. I mean, uh, some of the songs are, are uh, acoustic renditions of songs that I recorded earlier with Comes With The Fall, and then some were just newly channeled experiences that, that were written very quickly, um, Specifically for this album, um, you know, I think I think the uh, the biggest hurdle with regard to this album is just getting it out, getting it out there. You know, the creation part is uh, is easy, particularly for an album like this, where there's you know, it's just one guitar, one voice. It's just it's just uh, you know. Uh, pure and, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, it's as undiluted as you can get. There's no band, there's no, you know what I mean? It's just the, that part is greatly simplified just by the nature of the music itself. But, but yeah, getting it out, that's, the, that's where it gets into, you know, that's where the work begins. <clears throat> when piecing the album together, did you have um, a song arrangement in mind where everything needs to go? Oh, you mean like a like a running order? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I felt like "Till the Light Guides Me Home" was a natural starting point because it it was the genesis of the of the album, really. 
um, uh, or the fact that there could be an album. It, you know, it started with that song. Um, and from there, it was just sort of, you just go with your heart. You know, I'd, I'd been listening to some of those songs, the, the, these particular recordings of these songs for, for a little while. And uh, once I realized that it was time to actually put this album out and, 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 and uh, you know, get all the ducks in the row for get all the ducks in a row for a, for a release. And I just sort of assessed what I had and, and um, you know, it, it sort of it sort of comes together pretty naturally just based on my own preference and my own emotion about what sits well in what order, you know. It just seemed to, this was the running order that made sense to me and you know, there we go. <laughs> the song Three Wishes it has almost this 90s old school groove to it is that where you were going for or were you going for something else that song actually uh, was originally recorded on the very first Comes With The Fall album um, and so interestingly enough to your point the original version of that song was recorded in October 99 um, you know that album's been out of print for, for almost 20 years now and so, um, at that time, you know, there's been uh, occasions at, you know, friends' parties or whatever where they want to hear that song, and it was just, you know, I just had it, you know, somebody would have an acoustic guitar, and suddenly it would get handed to me, and, you know, <laughs> and like, so I came up with an acoustic rendition of that song just for my own amusement, and, um, but I'd never recorded it, and so now it's recorded for everybody to hear, you know, well, and I always thought it was, I always thought it presented well acoustically, even though it's quite different from the Comes with the Fall version on our first album. I always still thought that both versions had their own validity. I absolutely love the track. After listening to the album, I wasn't picturing you as William and Allison Chains. All I was thinking of was this amazing voice, this passion, this great album, would you say that this is a stepping stone to really showcasing and separating yourself as a solo musician? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So one alone will hopefully be one of many then? That's what I hope. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Are there any plans in the works doing a solo tour with one alone? Well, solo shows are, are uh, being announced very soon, and... Uh, you know, please keep me on the lookout for that. So I would like to chat a little bit about Alice in Chains. You are currently on tour with Korn. Last year released Rainier Fog. Are you working on anything new? <laughs> nope, just getting through the day. <laughs> I was going to say, I got a lot going on as it is, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and would, yeah. you, would you consider maybe possibly in the future releasing an all-acoustic album with Alice in Chains? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. All right, well, One Alone drops October 4th. Is there anything you would like your fans to know? Oh, that's it. Just, uh, I, hope, I hope they uh, get a chance to check out this, uh, this album. I hope they like it if they do. Uh, if they check it out, I hope they dig it. I, I think they will. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot.